You know, on this channel, we spend a lot of time bashing fast food, the problems it's caused with obesity, all the things, right? And I'm sure I've taken quite a few shots specifically at McDonald's, and I'm here to set the record straight. I can admit, McDonald's is actually pretty good. It's kind of like that one girl from high school that every one of your buddies had a turn with. They may not have admitted to it when asked, they might not be proud of it, but after they had it, they'd be lying if they said it wasn't pretty good. And as a poor teenager, early 20-something, I probably spent the majority of my funds back then on that dollar menu, specifically those McChickens. And boy, were they good. But in my latter years, right, I've realized that eating fast food, if we're trying to be lean, mean fighting machines, isn't really something we should be indulging on quite a bit. Too much fat, not enough protein, too many carbs, the list goes on. But don't you guys worry. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make healthy, high protein McDonald's McChickens right in your own kitchen that are not only stupid simple, they're also delicious. And I'm telling you, if too many trips through the McDonald's drive-thru has your feet and hands turning blue, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. So if y'all are ready to dust off the old high school sweetheart and take a trip down memory lane, then hey, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All aboard the gains train. First thing we need is 448 grams of 98% lean ground chicken breast. And now we're gonna season it so every single bite is loaded down with flavor. The first thing we need is two grams of garlic powder. Then we need two grams of onion powder, two grams of paprika, one gram of mustard powder, and then finally a gram of black pepper, and then a gram of seasoned salt. Now we'll just go in with our meat grubbers and we're gonna mix everything together until all the seasoning is in all of our ground chicken. And then once we got it all mixed up, we're gonna have to form this into three different packs. Now this is not the same as ground beef. It's a little less dense and a little more sticky. So forming it into a patty is going to be a little different, but a little patience, you're going to be able to get it done. I just wanted to give you guys a fair warning because ground chicken's more slippery than the Epstein flight logs. For some reason, we just can't get a hold of them. And once we got it all pattied up, I'm just going to sit it on a piece of parchment paper and we'll go ahead and patty the last two. And once we got these patted, we want to put them in the freezer for approximately five to 10 minutes. That's going to firm them up, make them way easier to bread here in a second. So let me toss these in and show you what's next. And now it's time to get our breading ready. It's very simple. We just need some plain bread crumbs, about 40 grams of them. We'll put them down in a shallow bowl. And after that, we just need a gram of paprika. Now, keep in mind, as much as I think cooking these high protein meals, these anabolic recipes is stupid simple. I know for a lot of beginners out there, it can be tough. You got to memorize a ton of ingredients. You don't know what to buy at the store. You're maybe having trouble with simple instructions, but guys, if you you're new to this whole thing and you want to have all these recipes in your pocket, do not forget that the ultimate anabolic cookbook is available at the first link in my description box. Every one of these recipes fully broken down, the macros, calories, all the ingredients you need, everything you need to buy at the store, everything's in here. And every time I drop a new video like this one, the book gets updated for free. So you're always going to have something new to try out. It'll not only be tasty, but do your body some good and help you lose a little weight. If that sounds good, hit the link in my description. I know if you do, you won't regret it. Now once we got our breadcrumbs in here, we're just going to go in and mix everything together. And after a little trip in the freezer, our patty is much more firm. So what we we can do is grab it, place it down in our breading, use our hands, cover it up a bit, put as much as we can on top, then we'll go ahead, flip it over and do the exact same thing. And then once we got it fully breaded, I'm gonna transfer it to a baking sheet with an elevated rack. Then we'll go ahead and get the other ones breaded. And then folks, we'll be eating like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in no time at all. Now that maybe wasn't the best analogy because I think they were disowned, but like royalty, you get what I'm saying. Let me finish this up and we'll move on to the next step. And boom, all patties are breaded. These are ready to go in the oven. What we're gonna do, 400 degrees for about 16 to 20 minutes. Once these are golden brown and they're smelling amazing, you'll know they're done. Let me pop these in and when I return, we'll send this thing on. Come on. Check this out. Look how picture perfect this is. After a little time in the oven, we have ourselves a crispy chicken patty. Perfect for the sandwich. We literally just have a couple things to do and we're gonna be feasting. All we're gonna do is place a patty on each one. Then we'll take our 14 grams of shredded lettuce and spread it evenly amongst all of our sandwiches. And then finally, we're gonna take about 30 grams of light Miracle Whip or light mayo and split it between all of our sandwich buns. Then we'll just take a spoon, spread it edge to edge. And then finally, all that's left to do is to place that sop bun right on here. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Anabolic McDonald's McChicken. Mm -hmm. 
And people, eating good and losing weight really is this easy. Next time you're hankering for some food and you want to drive through old McDonald's, instead of biting on the temptation, make these instead. Eat them, enjoy them, and I'm telling you, when you wake up the next day not inflamed, not puffy or feeling like crap, and most importantly, still on your diet and losing weight, you're going to come back here and thank me. Now, folks, when this gets cold, let's try them out. Hey, you know what time it is, guys. Before we dig into this, I gotta announce the giveaway winner from the last video for a free box of Anabars. You already know, if you wanna enter the giveaway, you just gotta like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment down below. I choose a random commenter in every video to win a free box of the best tasting protein bar in the world. And the winner from the last one is John Eldridge with the comment, I'm eating good and looking better. It's been two weeks and I'm down 13 pounds so far with the cookbook and minimal exercise. Heck yeah, man, congrats. Appreciate the support on the video. That's the whole thing I was trying to tell people. When people wanna lose weight, the first thing they wanna do is get in the gym. I'm joining the gym, I'm losing weight. But in reality, if your diet doesn't change, all the gym's gonna do is make you more hungry, you're gonna eat more, and you probably aren't burning off as much as you're eating. And in turn, you're either gonna stay the same weight or you're slowly gonna gain weight. I've seen it happen a million times. I always tell people the first thing you should do is get your diet in check. After that, the rest, the workouts and everything is basically extra credit. So you're on the right path, dog. Appreciate you, thank you for the support. Email with email in the description box below. I'll get one of these out to you ASAP. For everybody else, theanabar.com, my code RGF10 will save you money. And I promise, if you're trying to diet, get in more protein, and you wanna have the most delicious Delicious protein bar in the world that actually tastes like a candy bar. I'm telling you, you just gotta trust me. You gotta try it out. I know if you do, you won't regret it. All right, let's get into these sandwiches, shall we? I'm gonna do this one right here in the middle. It was for some reason really tickling my fancy. Check that bad boy out. Got that crispy chicken. We got the mayo, the lettuce. Simple yet effective. Three, two, one, let's go. Mmm, wow, this is phenomenal. Mm. The chicken's crispy on the outside from the breadcrumbs, but the way we season it, it actually has a chicken flavor. And then everything else we already got, the lettuce, the mayo, the toasted sesame seed bun, really doesn't get much better than this. This is absolutely phenomenal, guys. I love this right here. My girlfriend likes McDonald's, but obviously we're trying to eat healthier in the house and I have to cook dinner every night. I've been making these last couple days, trying to tweak them, and we are in love. I know if you try, you'll love it. If you're not making it, take a pretty picture, tag me on Instagram, wherever it is your social. Let me know what you think. If I see it, I'll reply to it. And then here's the kicker, folks. If you made it exactly how I just showed you, which end up with for one of these McChickens is only 362 calories with just six grams of fat, a whopping 41 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs with three grams of fiber. 362 calories for a McChicken with this much protein is insane. To put into perspective, McDonald's version is 400 calories, but you're getting 21 grams of fat, only 14 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs with a gram of fiber. So when you make it this way, I know the calories aren't drastically different, but the reason this diet works is because A, we're eating a ton of protein, and B, we're not neglecting ourselves and feeling deprived of food. So right here, here. Although this is close in calories to the McDonald's version, we're getting triple the protein, we're getting a third of the fat, and we're getting even less carbohydrates, and all things considered, in my honest opinion, this tastes better than any McChicken I've ever ordered from McDonald's. So like I said earlier, instead of falling victim to your cravings and going through a drive through easily consuming a thousand plus calories, not getting any protein, you wonder why you're hungry two hours later, instead of doing all that, make stuff like this instead. When you see the number going down on the scale, it'll be motivation, and most importantly, you'll be making the healthier, better for you option. I'm telling you, once you try this, you'll probably never eat another regular McChicken again. And if you like this recipe and you wanna try out all the other recipes from the channel, yeah, you don't wanna have to look up the videos, memorize the instructions, ingredients, all that stuff, don't forget. You can grab a copy of my cookbook at the first link in the description box. Over 300 recipes and growing, and I'm telling you, if you follow us in this book, you really follow it. I show you how to figure out how many calories you need in a day based on your body type, weight, age, all that stuff. You follow it, you will see results no matter what. You just gotta do it. Link down below. If you get it, I promise you will not regret it. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a video. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Y'all rock. Funny story, uh, the other day, Logan, I actually had an edible laying out. My dog ate it. It's been a wild 48 hours. I'm not gonna give you guys all the details, but in summary, if you keep edibles in your house, don't ever, ever, ever let a dog eat one. <laughs> one of the worst decisions of my life. Just don't do it. It might sound fun, just, just don't do it. Take that advice from Uncle Rim. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you ever like the clothes I'm wearing, we got a Young LA shirt, I cut the sleeves off. But as you can see, the designs are always dope. There's some flowers back there, I think. And now it's officially short season, so I got some of these Young LA shorts on. Once once again, what I love about these, we got pockets for everything you'd ever want, which is huge for me in shorts. We got stylish designs, like the script writing on these strings, the writing on the pockets, or even the subtle branding right here in a removable patch. Look at that, bud, no one's doing that. Man, woman, child, baby, they got something for everything. If you wanna check them out, youngla.com, my code RJ will save you money. It's quite literally all I wear in these videos. I want someone to go back and fact check me since I started the sponsorship and see if you can find a video where I wasn't wearing Young LA. If someone finds evidence of that, I'll give you a free box of handlebars, how about that? We'll keep in mind 
somewhere around the corner. If you want me to make you a meal plan, I'll tell you exactly what to do. Meal one, meal two, meal three, broken down from foods you choose from a questionnaire based on your body type, weight, age, how much you train, your job, everything. You can always sign up for that at remtjsfitness.com. I can make you a meal plan, tell you what to do that way. You don't gotta think about it. You just do it and you see results. And there we go, folks. I think we got everything out. You guys rock. You gotta try this. If you do, I know you'll love it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We gone. Mmm, that's a mess.